solar inverters. How to choose a good one in Australia in 2023. Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, a chartered electrical engineer and the founder of Solar Quotes. After the panels, the solar inverter is the next most important part of your solar system. Solar inverters convert the panel's DC electricity into AC electricity for your home. They come in two flavors, string inverters and micro inverters. A string inverter goes on the wall and all of the solar panels connect into it. With micro inverters, you put one under each panel. If you want a string inverter, you have lots of manufacturers to choose from. If you want micro inverters in Australia, you are usually looking at N phase micro inverters. There is also a brand called Solar Edge who make a mishmash of the two. Solar Edge systems use a string inverter on the wall and optimizers, which look similar to small micro inverters, under each panel. Never mount a string inverter where it will be in full sun. Choose a shaded spot, a cool garage, or ask the installer to build a simple shade over the inverter. Electronics hate the heat, and an inverter sitting in full sun will have a shortened lifespan. Here's my chart of inverter brands in Australia I believe to be good quality, well supported, and would recommend to a friend. Affordable brands are on the left, high-end brands are on the right. The difference in price between a budget end and a high-end string inverter is about $1,000. The difference in price between a budget end string inverter and a micro inverter system can be $2,000 or even more. Micro inverter and optimizer based systems have some benefits over string inverters, mainly around design flexibility for awkward roofs, but one of the core benefits spruiked by salespeople is around how they handle shade better than string systems. This may be partly true for budget end string systems, but high end string systems like Fronius and SMA these days have advanced algorithms which perform just as well as optimizer or micro inverter systems in many shade situations. One advantage of microinverters is that they operate at a lower voltage, which is safer if there's any fault in the installation, but any well-installed solar system is safe, whether string or micro. So if you have a straightforward roof and aren't insistent on a lower voltage system, you may find the extra expensive microinverters or optimizers hard to justify. Most people don't realize that the inverter is the component most likely to fail in the first 10 to 15 years. This is because they work hard all day and they do wear out. If your inverter fails, it will bring down your whole system, unless you're using microinverters, where if one fails, the rest will plod along just fine. Now, if you have three phase power to your home, I recommend using a three phase inverter. You can use a single phase inverter, but you are more likely to have what's known as over voltage issues if you push all your solar exports down a single wire instead of three. So I'm a big fan of three phase inverters for three phase homes. Next up, solar inverters and oversized panel arrays. I get emails all the time saying, I've got a quote for solar. They've offered me a five kilowatt inverter and 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels. What's going on? Am I gonna blow up the inverter? Using an inverter that's rated at fewer kilowatts than your panel array is a smart design move. When done properly, you won't be losing any significant energy yield with that smaller inverter. Many local electricity networks cap the maximum inverter size you can have. Adding extra panels will give you more energy from that limited inverter capacity. And the solar rebate is based on panel capacity, not inverter capacity. You can have 33% more panels than an inverter is rated for and still get the rebate for every panel. If you have a battery, you can usually oversize by even more than 33% and still claim the rebate. And since there's not much extra installation cost involved in adding a few more panels when the installers are already on your roof, it's almost always worth doing. Now, let's talk about warranties. The minimum warranty offered by the major inverter brands is five years, but many brands now offer 10 year warranties as standard. If your installer is trying to sell you an inverter that doesn't have a 10 year warranty, insist on a 10 year warranty upgrade. If they won't budge, you may have to pay a couple of hundred dollars more for a 10 year warranty, but it's absolutely worth it in my opinion. Now let's talk about solar inverters and adding batteries. Batteries are great for lots of things, but the good ones are expensive. Many people want to buy a battery ready solar system that they can add batteries to once they've come down in price a bit. 
the bottom line is you can retrofit batteries to any existing solar system regardless of what inverter you have. So there's nothing special you need to buy now to make your system battery ready. Things can only get tricky if you have three phase power and even then a good installer can help you navigate that situation. To finish off, I want to talk about the importance of having a consumption monitor with your solar system. Consumption monitors are small devices that sit in your switchboard. They cost around $500 and measure how much electricity comes from or goes to the grid. Why buy one? Without one, your inverters monitoring app will only show you how much energy your system produces with a graph like this. Investing in a consumption monitor will make your inverters monitoring app much more valuable. The graph will now show both energy production and house consumption. This lets you easily see the best way to manage your electricity use for maximum savings. Here's the monitoring from my house in summer. I use it so that all my big loads are kept under the solar curve. That means they are powered by solar, not the grid, saving me maximum dollars. To summarize, the solar inverter is the workhorse of your solar system. Make sure you choose a reputable brand that will go the distance. My recommended brand chart that I showed earlier can help you here. Aim for a 10 year warranty with your inverter, even if you have to pay a little bit extra. Consider microinverters or optimizers if you like the sound of those extra benefits they provide over string inverters. Don't be afraid of oversizing your system by 33%. It'll deliver great bang for buck and provide extra generation in those cold, less sunny winter months. Finally, insist on consumption monitoring with your system. If you're considering solar and don't know who to trust, my website, Solar Quotes, makes it easy to get up to three free quotes from installers I have personally vetted and trust. Just visit solarquotes.com.au, pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching.